Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Yoshuli back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing some Mary support. And I do really like this skin, by the way. I think um, Edessa is her definitely one of her better skins. So, and not only is it gonna be a cool showcase of this kind of skin, since I haven't really shown it off it's also you guys been requesting some mirror support and how exactly um we're gonna play her because uh, my ac was asking like how do you are you good with mirror support how are you gonna win with it because i haven't went with mirror support in a while so hopefully we'll be able to show him how exactly it is done in the dual lane and so the big thing that i'm seeing people make making mistakes on Mayu is you have to play her aggressively because I see a lot of mistakes people make is when they play her more the shield bar they stand behind the ADC they own the shield they don't really interact with the dual lane you do not want to do that if you stand behind your ADC they're just gonna give easily focused you don't have CC and your shield can only provide so much in the early game to mitigate that so you really want to press your advantage on your passive and your Q and by the way I'm probably gonna put my primary ability my Q on instant because I think it feels better if you can just use the Q immediately just make it a little bit easier to aim and just be able to like less time is wasted trying to like get your Q out and so your first two low is actually really good on Mario um you can definitely really be oppressive with your auto attack your Q um as the lane goes on it becomes a little bit harder to be oppressive with the train trace and pokes but once you hit six that's when you're going to start to really kind of pop off with that global presence of your ultimate so the big focus in this lane phase is to show how oppressive Mario can be into it because it's like a steel support right here i believe and so in this matchup i should really really just like walk up and just auto him and make this steel's life miserable so i'm actually gonna be sitting right here and going for auto attacks like this sit behind the far wall see it's a sign he wants to like okay then steel is playing very interesting i would say that That's no Q right there. Interesting. I just I haven't really played CC that literally just like W keys like that in the river. That is so interesting right there. But knowing that know that the seal has a Q, we have to be mindful that he's gonna try to look for an engagement then. I'm gonna pop a potion for now. So I might be just trying to press the steel more than anything because he's the one that I he's not gonna immediately fire back like the Modoc. So I'm think I'm gonna focus my pressure on the steel. Because Modoc is looking to trade back with me, it's gonna be a little bit tough to um go even with the trading. Okay. Slow right there, and now we're gonna auto the steel. Okay then he is game right in, in your Shuli's face. Into my Chimera. Okay. I could maybe blink out the save, but like, I, if he blinks out, if the mother blinks, then my Chimera is just gonna follow. And we just got the double kill because still decided to try to get so aggro on I me, mean, but you just can't do that, especially when my Chimera is on West Side. I'm literally just gonna let the, um, walk you into my jungle like that. So. Mother like got one kill, but um, we got two kills right there. And both of them. And it's gonna be split between my Sparrow and my Murdoch. That's really good. That's gonna really help my Chimera and my Sparrow soft the snowball with that early kill right there. My Sparrow is back in, so I can't walk into the lane. So, what I might do is I might try to like warm a little bit, try to see if I, there's anything I can do while I wait for my Sparrow to come back into the lane. Like, for example, I could try to go for a deep ward. Because I don't think. Wait, she saw me. Cause she went you saw how she ran melee at me? That means that there was a ward. So I tried to go for a deep ward, but unfortunately did not connect because um someone did put she put the weak wall on that river right there. I unfortunately cannot hold the wave just because it's just um way too big. So we're gonna try up oh, they mean to take that. Let's just kind of help um, wheel this down a little bit so it's easy for my spell to last hit. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's no steel shield for a little bit. What the heck? Okay, that's the Chimera just kind of casually walking in. I'm gonna put a wall behind us because I feel like this Chimera might 
still look by trying to go behind us. So let's put Walt right there. Yep, we see him still looking as I predicted. So definitely this is just a general support thing. I kind of feel like this jungler is going to try to camp us a little bit. So I put down the ward just to see if he's going to come by. And he did came by as you guys saw. So this way I can really walk in and get aggressive with my altars because the uh, um, command might be around here, right? Fortunately, they're pushing the wave in pretty aggressively, so it's not like it's going to be pushed out and we're going to be putting a little awkward spot. It's actually going to not be in too bad of a spot for us. I kind of want to check this. I'm going to go check to see if Chimera is doing like 5 camp for a sample or took it. Now, if he didn't took it, that means that he just backed off. He didn't look, he looked, it looked like he went for any invades. Now let's put a wall right here, so we can kind of hug this side, and we, if we see the jungler walking up, we can definitely um, start the back off, right? How's my CS that's doing for my AC? A little bit far, a little bit behind, but there was just some really early skirmishes going on, and they got the first gold buff, so it's not too bad how my AC is doing. And he went for the deep wall right there. Beat up by Chimera. Wait, can we just go on him? We can definitely get super aggressive. So nice, we got some punish down. I'm actually gonna walk up a little bit. Oh, I, I flicked out a little bit too hard. My Chimera is trying to make a play. Let's see. Okay. Let's just go on the steel right here. To her. And yep, that's the blink. And Mork is right there. So that was very good stuff right there. We got the blink from Steel, which is pretty big. That means he's not gonna blink in all the try and make a blink play, right? So I'm sort of thinking in this matchup, I, I want to go Marshall. Your first item is, is always going to be either Marshall or Wellspring. It just depends on what's the, the, your ADC and what's your matchup. And with the spell ADC, she loves attack speed, so I'm going to go for Marshall. Plus, they're not really poke lane, they're a very committal lane. So we don't need Wellspring as much until like a second or third item. I took I, I I took that one because it's it just they were just coming in and we're just not able to let me buy block for her a little bit. There we go. So if she didn't have to blow the blink, that's pretty good stuff right there. It only sucked that my AC didn't got that right there. I just have to like confirm it. it's better for me to get than the enemy Modoc way. So let's actually pick up um because our shield scale on magical power so there's a fine line you want to do for like me you want to build her of course magical power with these items but if you only commit to magical power you're going to be quite squishy in the mid to late game so what i like to personally do is i like to go tame and throw them as a second or third item get that extra bulkiness and then eventually i want to try and get Wayman if we get to the fourth item because with those two items combined you become much tankier and still your shield still is like um are pretty massive i would say It's just like with our first few items, we definitely want to go for an item that can really empower Mario or help our allies even more. So we'll spring for the extra healing or um, what do you call it? Marshall for the extra attack speed. It's going to be really good too, right? Let's see where he's at. He's, not, he's doing the penetration build. Interesting. Wait, go on the go on the steel. He has no blink. But he my Kamiya unfortunately got knocked away, so we're not gonna be able to um secure the kill, but we're gonna definitely um push them back. Okay. Let's see, I'm I'm gonna walk in and get a deep ward. So there's a deep ward on the triple camp, so when we see Kamiya on this side, he'll be on that camp.
Yep, we see him right there. That's what I mean. We see the Kamehameha on the Shiba Camp. It, that just means we um, play shield for the next minute or two until Kamehameha is no longer on the side pressuring us. And I need one more main for six, so this is going to be pretty big at Global Presence now. I want to try to help my other allies across the map whenever I can, but Sparrow is a hyper carry. I need to make sure she doesn't fall behind and she just starts to snowball. So I might prioritize using my ultimate to save the Sparrow more than anything. Like, if they try to engage on her really hard with like the steel, with the chimera, um, we should be able to save her with all our shields and plus ultimates. Because on the ticking clock, my spell just outscales the Murdoch in the long one, so we can definitely um, play the long haul. What the? Wild. And we see chimera right there. That kind of still there, I can't tell because Count is still hovering. Yeah, he's he's really just sitting there still. But luckily we have some good ward placements, so not they're not gonna be able to really do anything. I'm looking at this though. I'm walking over. Can we go on it? Maybe? Let me speed you up, Kamewa. You have blink, you have blink. Yep. Morgan's gonna blink too, that's actually fine. And now I'm gonna go back to white. And we see Kaimel invading, so now I'm going to keep an eye on him because if people turn on him, I can ult him and save him immediately. And we can just turn to five, right? That's like the big thing about Murray Ultimate is that um, when you have it, your jungler like the Kaimel can play super aggro. He's really good playing aggro, but he's just even more so with like the Murray um, Ultimate. I think she lives, right? Yeah, I don't think the passive kills. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, I might have to ult this. Uh, yeah, he's, I think he wants to secure the kill. Let's knock him up. You zombie. Hmm. He just took too much damage right there. Walk behind right here. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. It seems like he took took a lot of damage and that was a Murdoch snipe. I thought um, I didn't have, I lost vision, but I think um, the sales still provide that. So that was a little unfortunate death right there. And because like Kaimo was W King, I, I have to try to see if I can save him. But he looks like he was just getting DPS down by the um, Murkish right there. And that's why he just died so fast, unfortunately. Yeah, why is this bill? Because that's why my... Amy Kamehameha is going to Sky Spell, my Kamehameha is doing Breach, which is really not a good item at all. So that's why he was actually getting out DPS. So I don't think the Murkish was actually helping the Kamehameha. Kamehameha was just really getting shredded by the Sky Spell of the Kamehameha, where anyone had Breach, which doesn't really do much for DPS. We definitely want to prioritize doing the Faint twos, I would say. So I don't have Ultimate for another minute and a half, so it, it, it kind of sucks, but it just means we play that a little bit slow. Because we have Marshall, um, it means that we should really empower our spell. So I think I should prioritize my spell because she's, I think she's stronger than my Kamehameha, honestly. I think I try to keep her alive more than anything. I think we have to check this. Enemy tower I'm going to the fail least. Not on it, but we can start it potentially. Oh, back off. We have to turn right here. Okay. And that's a very squishy um, kind of mirror, by the way, because he's going to Sky Spiller. Let's try to um, shield. Nice. Huge. And now we we'll go back on the fame too, so that's very good stuff. Like that I mean Kaima was definitely over on his head. Because Sky Spell offers a lot of DPS, but like um, the spare of my counter really just able to turn on it and blow him to smithereens. So actually let's do Oh what the heck? There's a Mogish sitting right here. Why is that Mogus sitting right here? Alright, I guess they're just gonna blink. It's just weird. I don't know why the Mogus is right there. It seems like they really want to still camp on our side, huh? So, I guess I'll just have to be more mindful. Because like, I know the Kamehameha is playing weird, but the Mogus was... It was definitely very interesting for her to still linger like that. Because that was a very nice time to go deep war with the support dead, jungler dead, but Mogus was just there. 
So that was just wild stuff. Um, I'm not sure she was going to die to Dot. I think that was a Morgus Dot on her, so... It sucks that I have to like use it to save her and not like my spell potentially um, coming up. But honestly, my spell has been, been playing really good. She's not really been called out, I would say. And yep, yeah, Morgus is coming over once again. So she's definitely the very aggro warming type, I would say. So we just have to back up and respect the spell, um, the Morgus being right there. It kind of sucks. I'm just too far away to go to left. That's why I mean, like, it kind of sucks I have to save the counts because that could have been the ultimate to save my offlaner. Maybe that could have turned around for a kill. Because I think the best million ultimates are the ones are, that are gonna, like, help get a kill, kill and prevent death. If it's only just preventing the death, then it doesn't feel as good, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, nice. I think we want to get aggressive and push out right. I think we want to try and knock down that tower. I think it's a good opportunity to do so when the when we see Murdoch mid too. I think we want to try to focus this down. Just focus the tower, I think. That's what we need to do. And my spell is shredding that steel like no tomorrow. That's what I mean. The spell is starting to really hurt. That's kind of like the hyper carry coming online. So I really want to prioritize all my resources on her more than anything. Ooh, what the heck? Mork is coming over, like she died and then she's all the way back here. Wild stuff. Oh, my bell popping off. Oh? Huge? My count is gonna finish off right there? Let's see it. Let's see it. No, don't die! Let's create some space. I guess he is just gonna jump on me. Hmm. Interesting stuff right there. I don't know, everyone just waiting over a dual lane. Like my, my KDA doesn't show like I'm doing good, but I've been like really like enabling my team and saving allies. So it's like it's I don't have a counter for how many people I'm saving um with me right now. So it's just it's hard to see the impact I'm making on just stats alone, but I think right now I'm doing some really good stuff on the team. I think I forgot to use my quest, which kind of sucked. I, I thought I pressed it, but I never went off. I think I will live a little bit longer, and maybe we could kill the Chimera. So that's definitely a little bit my bad right there, for my quest not coming off. Uh, everyone's just W keen right now. I don't think this is the way. It's just, it's just, my team is just being really greedy. Not my spare but like, it's just, we, there's some really greedy plays going on that I'm not a big fan of. Because I can't save these greedy plays when I don't have my ultimate right. So for right now, I'm going to just start putting down wars and try to like, uh, making sure that we can see when people are coming in for a flank on this side right. Because we have fainters coming up, I think we want to whip fainters, wait. Faint? Chimera is on the left side. I think we want me and spell we can definitely do it. We can definitely do it. Yeah, I think we want to sneak this in. I don't think Mother is gonna come check this. And Kaim is coming in, so I think we have fire to you. There's a wolf right there. Mm, okay, we can't do it because Kaim is actually doing his web first, so we don't have priority to do faint to it anymore. We treat. I think we want to do fainters, we just got a group buff for it, is my thing, right? Yeah, I mean, you see what they're doing? They're trying to force it. I think we need to, like, walk in. Um, we can't let them just do it for free. My camera is farming the 5 cam. Like, he needs to be huffing. Because if they don't see my jungler, they're just gonna, like... They're doing it right now. I think this is so bad that we're just giving it for free, right? Because we, I said to do fainters, and everyone just back off, like... I don't, I don't get it. I and mean, why is he going in like that? 
There's no point saving him, he's just gonna get blown up instantly. If I try to follow that, he's just gonna die, right? So you don't wanna always use the ultimate because like in that instance, I I wanna delay his death and then I just give enough kill to them because I'll just die instantly, right? So it's just some not so great plays going on at the moment. But that is why I'm still trying to really play for my um sparrow right here, because she's definitely knows what she's doing from what I can tell and she's definitely pumping out some serious serious damage so I'm definitely gonna be trying my very best to enable my spell to carry this game because I think that's what it's looking like it's happening right here a little bit off from world spring we're gonna be able to get a not too um far away It's like I think my spell is just stronger than my what the Oh, uh, this is so real. This is so weird what's happening right here, by the way. I think we keep going. Yeah, I think we keep going right here. Nice. Yeah, see what I mean? My spell is literally cleaning up. If she lives, we win. That's the win condition. I, I, at this point. I don't really care as much about my teammates because my spell is doing some godly work right now. Showing like the how really strong spell can be in the right hands. It's right here. I think we we'll literally just go for uh, the T2 on the right side. Let me just get some a wall right there so we can kind of see when people are coming in. Alright, we're going back up because we have to have the whole enemy team trying to shut us down now. So let's definitely give some space. And I definitely want to go for Wolf Spring right here in just a sec. So this is a good example of I'm going to go Wolf Spring and I'm going to go for Tain Tone Third because I'm kind of getting focused quite a bit. I want to get some extra durability. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you. They're not going to catch up to you. But I'm definitely going to get some extra durability with Tain Tone, but it's also going to be like reducing the heal of anyone nearby me. So it's a great all in one item. And then after turning to him, it's definitely going to be Wayman because that's just a bad HP stick that's going to work really, really well um, for like the extra armor we're going to get. Because armor doesn't matter if you don't have much HP to go along with it, right? We can go on it. Just play a little bit slow. Like, it looks like they are just trying to hard like mid to mid right now. So, what's going on this side? Okay. Seems like everything is chilling off a little bit. And once again, we are going to follow the spell because she's going to be the carry in this game. Like, she's the actual carry, not just the carry role, but the actual person that's going to carry this game in particular. So get some nice words right here so when um, they try, and more get your camera, try to gank us, we can see them coming in. See them both mids. I'll, I'll let the spell decide where she wants to go because um, I trust her judgment on when she wants to push or when she wants to just back off, right? Wait, can we maybe just like kill the dual lane right here? I feel like we can. Because I don't think they have enough DPS to kill us without shields and all that specially. Yeah. And that's a blink bomb steal right there, ladies and gents. Because by the way, your world spin will proc on the ability, so that's why I just spam my kill right there. Because just using the abilities new allies will um, heal, right? So if I use my kill again... Oh, it does have to be a different condition. Okay, I see. Passing ability. Okay, I see. Okay. I'll back to because I'm just re I'm just matching my spell, but also um I'm going to like get more words. This is a good time to actually do that. I'm not looking to ult that because yeah, this blink. Um I really don't want to use my ultimate when I just can use this to save my spell well, right?
I can bait this. Yep, they use everything on me. Now back off. Oh my god, my sp Oh, going ham. Huge. Had the blink. Okay, that sucks. I was not able to create enough space right there. That's why getting like some extra armor right here is going to be really helpful. Mm, so, when so we got a nice we got some nice kills right there. It's just not able to kill that Kamel up uh, Kamel right there. I don't think they're gonna go on fire mode anytime soon, but we need to still hover just in case. Again, why my quest? I, f I feel like I've been using my quest, but it hasn't been going off. I think I'm just kind of trolling then if, I, if I'm if i using my... Trying to use my quest, but it's not going off. I sometimes have that bad habit of just not walking when I think it should. I have ultimate and AD. And at least I have my quest for the extra heal for this fight. Okay, tech white. We just want to make sure we check it. And I'm now I'm gonna put down the wards. Oh my! Did they put down the ward already. I'm gonna put down another one right here because that's a nice choke point. And then now I'm gonna put one on the other side because that's another good choke point where people like to come in. I would say. So I mean, I'm trying to figure out what we want to do. Right? Wait. Can we look at that kind mirror? Hmm. I don't know, we need to do something right here. Cause I say it's just like um split pushing. Yeah, if we... I think we force this because it's gonna be 5v4 that I think we just win. Oh we need to start the back off now. He's switching back up. I just gotta keep an eye out for when yep, when all those people are coming in. Huge. Bear is coming in clutch. There we go, guys. That's what we need to do, my friends. And yep, go to someone go to go defend left. Me and Bear can def push right. Because we have a team, we have a team just going to defend right there. So we might as well push this aggression on the right side while we still can, right? Yeah, my camera is just way too squishy like that's why you just keep dying so fast because he's going this build that it's like it's like quick camera is not bad but that's not how i would build it there's a different way you would do it and i definitely have that um at the video oh oh he's gonna straight blink for blink okay i think we back off now that's five people that's gonna be coming out that's why i didn't want to go on prime I think we group up and do Prime. Because we definitely want to push that disadvantage with Prime um, plays. So we got the wave kind of shoved in. Wait. We really need to just go on Prime. We need Kaimo to come over here ASAP. Because like Steel's over there. I think Monarch is going to push that wide lane. I think we literally just whip through Prime. And there's going to be like a 5v4, 5v3 if we stay together, right? So once again, let's do some nice words at the short point so we see when people are coming in, right? Now let's just whip this. A, a kind of cool tip about um, mirrors is when the um, old prime does the big AoE missile, that's a good time to shield your allies because then it can eat up a bunch of that damage, right? Oh, oh, it's got mirror. Where's the smite? Nice. Alright, we group up and now I'm trying to think. Um I think we group up and attack mids. They're gonna get the left pushing and we just gonna need I think the best way we want we wanna push these waves is to do like two different sides. So they got they got the left pushing and now we got the mid pushing. So a good way to kinda of split a team the parts. Because pushing on one lane alone can be a little bit hard when they can just focus everything on that wave. But if we have two different lanes pushing like this, it just means that it's going to really split them apart a lot more. And Mother is not back yet, so I think we focus this. Also not scale the Kaimeo at this point. Enemy 
Oh, I think he could have gone on that. That's fine. I think we want to just like... Left is pushing in pretty hard. Now let's go for mid push. Oh my god, everyone's forcing the sparrow. Where's the team at? Where's the team at? No way this happens. Cause like, that's everyone hawk main on this right, on this, and no one was there. That's the only reason why we lost is because it was a 2v5, and everyone committed everything to kill the sparrow, and there's only so much I can do right there. Like, I know we split pushing, but like, that was so bad that um, we were all split apart right there. That sucks. That means that we're just not even to push anymore because um, when we want to split push, we just have one pe person go there. Like, I'm not sure why the count is on the right side. It should be like Grey Zone pushing left and then all four of us pushing mid. That's just a like, really bad team mistake right there. Me and Spell try to do what we can, but like, I think that was just a. That can literally throw the game away just because my team wasn't grouped up like that right there. That sucks. But, I mean. Uh, despite all of that, I mean, they commit so much on me and Sparrow that next time we fight, they're not going to have that anymore. And next time when we do fight, it's going to be on Primal. Um, Fainters again, they won't have the blinks and all that stuff again, necessarily. So, like, I think we just really need to just play around the Sparrow or just literally just play together at this point. Like, we just have to play together, like, group up. Because Sarah is split pushing once again, as you guys see. I'm trying to get some deep wood, so it's just a good way to, again to see when people are coming in. Yeah, let's do to like Sarah is split pushing again. This is a 5v4. We just group up and whip through this. Because it should be even easier um, with us having more items now. Uh, Spell should be. Oh, Spell is. He's in. I'm gonna show Alt Spell immediately. Trying to get as much damage as we can. There we go. Uh oh. Be careful, be careful. There's people coming on white side right there. Nice. Nice job. And that's what I mean. We group up, we win game. When we don't group up, we lose games. It's, I'm trying to say right there. Because holy moly, my spell is cooking really well. I wonder who made it, who's enabling her right now. Wink, wink. But obviously, like, my spell is playing really good. Like, this person knows exactly what he's doing on spell. So I'm feeling really happy that we just, us two are just dominating this game together. So it's gonna be nipper to down. I think we literally just go attack mid now. I think we have enough time to go mid. Do we have enough time? Maybe not. I don't know. Why can't I split? My two two people are split between left again. I don't. Okay, we back off. I don't like this anymore. I do not like this anymore. Because uh, this is going to be the same thing that happened earlier Well, it's if like five enemies engage in my spell and then two of my allies on left lane. Like, this is not what we need to group up. Like, seriously, just group up. We don't want to make, make the same mistake as last time. Okay, we have a minute um, until primary is done. So, I think... What we need is we need to do Fang Tooth of uh, Old Prime. So let's tell our team, hey, let's start doing it pretty soon. I'm just going to back to get more wards, get a little bit more extra HP. It's always very nice. Because why it's always going to be pushing, it's going to be quite easy to like just play slow and someone eventually has to go cover right and then we can take a 5v4 on this um old prime. And once we get this jerked up, it's going to make, make it really easy to make one final push hopefully to end this game. 
and now we'll just point all the wood so in every different way they're pushing we can see them from a mile away oh no count this oh wait she's going in hard she is going in hard i'm gonna follow her i trust her she's shredding through everyone and she won't go down oh my goodness it's a massacre guys okay and we're not gonna be able to get that wait we actually end right we end right look minions are pushing in all the way i think we'll literally just grab that wave or just literally grab mid let's grab mid just to get this wave pushing in and then i think we just it's just ggs right no i i think we literally just grab mids i think we have enough time still but i think we literally just walk in this walk this in it's only the mortgage for 20 seconds see it's not really going to help as much i would say And they're gonna FF off a deal. So needs to say, this is how you do Mary support. Cause Mario, like much like how Sparrow is a hyper carry, Mario, you can describe her as being and I'm serious six by the way, that's last death didn't count, but Mario is a hyper support in the sense that she hyper focuses on one person and they just won't die so so easily, right? Cause I should get some stats for like how much damage I'm like shield is there no stats for shields because it's stats for healing but oh that sucks because i feel like i was shielding so so well that game is there really no stat for like shielding because like again like if if you were to look at these stats and then you see this you're like oh, okay that's a bad mirror game no like i did my duty i kept the spell 12 and 2 everyone focuses super hard on the spell but i was able to keep her alive so well because I think that's a big important thing about Mario and why sometimes she can be a little bit flip floppy because she's someone that works best when you have someone that can like carry the game. Like it's 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 kind of easier to play like a steel support, a Decker support, Richard support because you can kind of carry games just literally just by locking down key targets on the enemy team but as Mary support you don't set up any engagements, you don't set up kills for your team, what you do is you keep someone alive and so like it, it, it requires 100 percent teamwork right there in the sense that um if my spell was not doing so good at all this game like she was str really struggling then i think that was the game we easily lose right because like i'm someone that wants to enable someone to do whatever they want and you guys saw how that spell was playing she was playing out of her mind and she was able to play so aggressively because she knows that i will keep her alive for so so long and we have a spell that does not go down down um fast she can pump up some serious serious work on the enemy team like she easily got top damage as you guys saw and when and it's just so people are just so scared we're like i have remember this couple of this where we take two feet threes and we win that so so well so this is exactly how you want to do mirror support one when you're doing the lane phase don't stand behind your support um adc don't play the shield bar stay stay stand by side go parallel so that way if they jump on your adc you're already in way to fire back at them or just merely share some of the aggro and shield your adc why right? do not stand behind them you have a passive that allows you to do more damage on hit definitely capitalize it in lane after that that's when you play actually the more backline support you're not looking to really all the people because obviously you're not really doing the most damage mid to late game by all people down what you're going to be doing is you're going to be sitting with your adc you will, will make sure your adc or whoever's going to carry your game like what like let's say my spare is the one that's really struggling but my camera is 12 and 1 i'm definitely going to hyper focus my camera so when you get to the mid to late game you have to focus on who is going to be your win condition it's not going to be my chimera it's not going to be my graystone it's my counter is doing fine but it's not going to be countless that's going to be one be fine it's going to be my spell of this game that is going to carry and so what i need to do as many support is i need to enable her because like that's another big thing that i see people making mistakes on like i see people this is like a general thing not even mirror support but just the supports in general as a support you need to realize what's your win condition and most of that is going to come down to who can carry your game in the simplest terms and so like when i see like a carry that's like popping up they're like the most damage on the team but then the decker like literally just like goes off in distance leave for adc alone and then the kind of jumps and kills her then that's how you lose games not because like the like the adc is out position it's just like um you're not you're not protecting your win condition right 
So definitely give it's it's definitely when you play million when you play any support, my biggest advice is get good at trying to realize who is gonna carry your game because if you can do whatever you can, you can provide CC, provide shielding, do whatever you can to keep your um win condition alive, that is how you can just win games. You just gotta pay attention and react accordingly when people jump on you, jump on your edit teammates and jump on your win condition. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments whether he was rather build show my showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.